What's up YouTube, Defragging here. I'm sorry I haven't released a video in the past couple of days. I've been kind of busy with uh, getting my palette and set up and everything. But today I'm going to be going over pretty much my palette and guide. What I do on my palette and my spec, my stats, everything. Um, starting off, here is, there's two specs, two basic specs you can choose from. Here's the first spec, which, uh, grabs improved judgment for 20 yard range increase and guardian's favor for reduced hand of protection cooldown and uh, here's the second build which grabs divinity for increased self-healing and reduced cooldown on hammer of justice through improved hammer of justice that's the current build that i'm using but i do intend on changing it around a bit because i'd really like to have that uh, reduced cooldown on hand of protection as it really helps out a lot uh, here's some prime glyphs. Uh, the prime glyphs you want to use are the Word of Glory, Seal of Insight, and Holy Shock. The major glyphs you want to use is Cleansing, Turn Evil, and Beacon of Light. And the minor glyphs, like there's four that you can choose from, and that's Insight, Blessing of Might, Blessing of Kings, and Justice. Uh, of course, they're completely whatever you want to use. I mean, it don't matter. Stat priority is Intellect first, Crit, Spirit, Resilience, Haste, Mastery, and Hit. Now, you want to reforge any gear that doesn't have Crit on it with the lowest stat, reforge that to Crit. And any gear that does not have Spirit on it, you want to reforge to have Spirit with the lowest stats, which would be Mastery, Haste, or Hit which you don't need um, as far as gems yellow gems you'll want to either have a potent lava coral or the cheaper solution which would be the potent ember topaz for blue gem sockets you want the purified shadow spinal or the purified demon's eye for red is brilliant queen's garnet or brilliant inferno ruby and for the Meta is Ember Shadow Spirit Diamond or the Destructive Shadow Spirit Diamond. As far as enchants go, for your helmet, you will want the Arcanum of the Vicious Intellect. For the shoulders is the Greater Inscription of Vicious Intellect. For the cloak is Enchant Cloak with Greater Intellect. For the chest is you know, Enchant Chest Mighty Stats or whichever one you can afford. Like the plus 20 stat one I know is a little bit more expensive uh, than the 15 plus 15 stats. It's just whichever is in your price range. Uh, for the bracers is enchant bracers with mighty intellect. Gloves is enchant gloves with haste. Belt is the ebon steel belt buckle with an intellect gem preferably. Leggings is powerful enchanted spell thread. Boots is enchant boots with haste. Main hand is enchant weapon with power torrent, and off hand is enchant off hand superior intellect. Now I'm gonna go over uh, a couple of the macros that I use on my holy paladin that really make things a lot easier. The first macro is uh, cleansing without targeting. It, it lets you cleanse targets without having to actually target them or without having to leave your current target. And here is the macro for that. The next macro is uh, a Hand of Freedom macro that lets you cast it on yourself without having to get off your current target. Uh, the next one is specifically for Death Knights. It's a gargoyle. It's like it's a gargoyle uh, macro that uses Turn Evil whenever an unholy DK uh, summons his gargoyle. It will use the move Turn Evil on that Gargoyle and Fear It. You can also use it on a Death Knight whenever they use the ability Lichborn to prevent them from healing themselves. All right, the next one is a Hammer of Justice uh, Focus Target macro, which will use uh, your Hammer of Justice stun on your focused target. The next macro is a Rebuke Focus Target macro, which will just use Rebuke on your Focus Target, which is really good if uh, you have the healer focused and it's a lot simpler to uh, use a rebuke focus target macro than to have to actually select the healer and 
manually use uh, rebuke on them. The next uh, macro that I have is really, really handy because uh, as a healer, you're going to be getting polyed, cycloned, uh, feared, all these different kinds of CCs that people are going to be throwing on you to try and keep you from healing your targets. So this one kind of helps that along. It's a uh, it combines your holy shock with your righteous defense, so that anytime you use holy shock, it will use righteous defense to taunt a pet. So if a mage uh, polys you and they have their mirror images up, and you used holy shock before he polyed you, then that righteous defense will have taunted one of those mirror images and it has a chance of that mirror image to hit you while you're polyed and break you out of it. Same thing with warlocks or unholy death knights with their uh, ghoul. It will taunt them, it will taunt their pets and anytime you get feared uh, the pets will still be on you and attack you so basically it will force any player who's not good at controlling their pet into putting their pet on passive to prevent them from breaking any CC's. And that will conclude this small guide that I have on my Holy Paladin. Uh, basically how to get your Paladin set up for PvP. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Leave comments below. And thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.